Hi everyone, Art Journal page today and I want to use lots of scraps of paper I have. Most of them are from some uh, jelly uh, prints I've uh, made lately and I'm just going to tear them <laughs> and start gluing uh, them to this page. I, I'm working in this uh, sketchbook uh, notebook. <laughs> <laughs> and I just uh, glue two um, two pages together so I will have a nice uh, page to work on so lots of uh, jelly prints uh, some of them on printer paper some of them on bedelli paper really doesn't matter and it doesn't have to be jelly prints if you've got all kinds of painty paper scrapbook paper whatever you've got you can use so let's start by a uh, well <laughs> what do i want to start with i don't know <laughs> just tearing this and i think i will use a glue stick just to make it a little bit faster so i won't have to wait a lot of time for white glue to dry and I don't care about the white edges everything is gonna be um, covered I'm using um, the ones that have uh, straight edges to put on my straight edges and no overthinking here just laying down some pieces okay and if I have uh, too much of edges I can just take it out it really doesn't matter okay maybe here maybe here <laughs> I can also flip it whatever I think I'll just glue it down and where I will need some coverage I will just bring in another piece of paper Okay, let's see. Yep. I just want to have varied patterns be and between the pieces lots of interest another piece of this it gives light yeah and of course you can overlap just trying to be quick about this first layer and I will trim the excess later really doesn't matter right now let's see let's use some of this I'm 
I'm trying to well to have some pieces that from the same paper if I really like what's going on oh. don't like it switching let's see maybe another from this paper yeah why not okay what else do I have here trying to <laughs> not overthink it okay what else do I have maybe this one don't like what's going on here so I'm just gonna pick something else to put here it would be interesting let's see better I think yeah so right now it all looks like a mess but it's only the beginning and I want another one here this piece is just too large on this page Okay, so cover the page. Now I just uh, going to give it a little blast from my heat tool because I still have a little bit of glue here and then I'll go I'll come back. I'm back. Now, I've got this uh, first layer and I want to unify everything. I want uh, I'm going to use a uh, some stamping and stenciling and I'm first I'm going to use this silicone trivet and I'm gonna uh, tap it with this ink pad and I hope it will give more detail a little bit more color to the background and as I said we'll bring ev all these pieces together so just flipping it pushing it down yeah doesn't have to be perfect just something that goes all over the page and adds to the background and I 
know it looks like a mess, but that's the start of every page, I think. Okay, finished with this. I want to uh, stencil and I've got this stencil that I want here and some gold acrylic paint. I'm uh, taking a makeup sponge, taking a little bit of the gold and dabbing the excess now. This acrylic paint is kind of dry and very thick and it doesn't really look gold but that's what I'm going to use. It doesn't need to be great because this is not the focal image and it's just something else that I'm going to add to the background. So maybe it's good that it's not that shiny. We'll see in a minute. Maybe I will pick another gold acrylic paint and try for something better. We'll see. You can hardly see it. Mm, not what I imagined. Mm, okay, I'm going to try some other gold acrylic paint. Let's see, I'm going to start here this time just to see how it works and maybe I should have done it first with white gesso so I will have a nice primer underneath. Okay, so hardly noticeable and I'll just go over this a little bit. Good enough for me, I'm gonna leave it this way. <laughs> Let's see, I uh, at the beginning when I thought about making this page, I wanted to put some gold ribbon and then I uh, changed to stencil. So maybe I will go back to some gold ribbon here. Don't know why I want it here. <laughs> and maybe, no, I don't know. Sometimes you just don't know. No. Leaving it be like this, and I th I really like the gold here, the other one, not this, the first one I have used, I don't know if you can see the shimmer, and I think I will add it on the page with some, le some words, yeah, that's what I think I'll do, and I'm not going to do whole words or anything i i just want another layer that adds details in the back i don't care what it says and i don't care how much of it shows you can hardly see it it's just adding a little bit of shimmer to the page Got some masking tape here. I'm doing it quite randomly. Yeah. Such a shame that you can hardly see it. Just more 
a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. So I've got this and I'm really a don't know where to go. I, I know what my focal point is going to be, but the thing is that because this didn't work so well, I'm not sure where I'm going with this. I'm going to think about it and come back. Okay, so the gold didn't work here and I still want to do this uh, stenciling here. So I've taken some dark blue and I'm going to go over it and let's hope <laughs> this will give me uh, some what I want and maybe after it dries then I will go and give it some gold contour I don't know and now that I'm doing this I'm uh, thinking that I'm uh, not doing only this strip and going just a little bit irregularly uh, like so so I won't have a straight line and so it would be like it fades towards the inside yeah that's more like it okay so continuing with this just a little bit more I like how it looks uh, fading into the page just a little bit more here I think and I'm calling it done with this stencil <laughs> yeah this is it not touching it not doing anything <laughs> okay focal image that I wanted where is the stencil I have so many stuff here accumulating on my desk that I can't find anything let's see okay here it is this is one of the stencils that I make and I'm going to put it here and I've got some turquoise oops 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 that's what's going on here when I try to be fast okay so I've got some turquoise and I think I will add some white just so it won't be completely flat and we'll see how it goes so got this and gonna start with the turquoise and a little bit of white i don't want solid color I want variation and more white in, on top of each uh, leaf or yeah so it would look a little less flat so I'm putting the more of the turquoise underneath each leaf and then adding 
a little bit more white on the top and let it I'm letting them mix It's like giving highlights to each leaf here and let's hope I get something nice okay <laughs> yeah not exactly the color I was going for but I like it and I think I will also stencil here the word Sore, really like it. Yeah, and I I'm going to let this dry, and then I want to do some more uh, defining of each uh, thing here. So I'll be back. I'm back and I'm just going around my shapes with a marker, with a turquoise marker, marker just for more definition of the shapes. I've already traced around uh, my word here. I think I'm mostly done. I want to... Uh, darken the edges of my page to frame everything in yeah so i uh, taking a brush i still have uh, more of the dark blue that i've used here and i'm just going to go around very freely with the brush I'm taking very little paint on the brush I'm smudging it and don't want a A very defined edges just darken so it will look kind of grungy Okay, so got the edges and I just want to add something here with this color. Don't know if I uh, can make it. Um, let's see, maybe I will. Uh, I have this stamp that I used on my uh, jelly prints. I, maybe I will use it again. I will take from the turquoise. Let's see, maybe. Mm, it hardly, you can hardly see it. Maybe I'm not giving up. I'm taking more paint here. Let's see. Now it's too, too white. 
but okay but I need more turquoise and this will be it for my page yeah now I'm happy <laughs> Yeah, and the only thing I want to do is just go again here where I went over it, and now I'm happy. That's it. That's my page. <laughs> Removing this, and this is it. I like it. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next uh, video. Bye for now.